fast to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Hey, have you taken a good look at the banks lately? On the surface, everything seems fine, but there's a whole lot more going on underneath. It's like looking under the hood of a car and finding a mess of broken wires and parts. The parts are loans for homes, cars, and those credit cards we all use. They're hitting record highs. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Why risk your money for a tiny 5% return when things are so shaky? This is where Noble Gold Investment can come in and help. They're like that friend who knows all about keeping money safe. They suggest gold and silver, oldies but goodies in the finance world. Plus, they got a sweet deal on this right here. One quarter of an ounce gold standard coin. They'll give this to you for a month, this month. One quarter of an ounce of gold. Pretty cool, right? Well, if you're curious, just give them a call at 877 646 5347. It's just a chat, no pressure, and they'll help you figure out if gold and silver is right for you. Go visit them at www.pastorpaulgold.com and take the first steps toward a safer financial future. Recently, the United States carried out a cyber attack against an Iranian military ship involved in gathering intelligence on cargo vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. This is according to three U.S. officials. The cyber attack, occurring more than a week ago, was part of the Biden administration's response to a drone attack by Iranian-backed militias in Iraq that resulted in the killing of three U.S. service members in Jordan and the injury of dozens late last month, as stated by officials. The objective of the operation was to disrupt the Iranian ship's capability to share intelligence with Houthi rebels in Yemen, who have been launching the missiles and drones at cargo ships in the Red Sea. U.S. officials assert that Iran employs the ship to provide targeting information to the Houthis, enhancing the effectiveness of their attacks on ships, NBC News is reporting. One U.S. official, familiar with the cyber attack, disclosed that the operation targeted an Iranian ship named the MV Bashad. The other officials chose not to reveal the ship's name. When questioned about the matter, a spokesperson for the National Security Council declined to comment and directed inquiries to the Defense Department, which also declined to provide a statement. And it's customary for U.S. officials not to disclose details about covert operations, including cyber attacks, and there has been no public release of information regarding the suspected Iranian spy ship incident. Egyptian authorities, concerned about a potential Israeli military advance into southern Gaza causing a refugee influx, are constructing an eight-square-mile walled enclosure in the Sinai Desert near the border. This initiative, part of heightened security measures, involves deploying soldiers, armored vehicles, and reinforcing fences along the frontier to prevent Palestinians from entering the country. The extensive compound serves as a contingency plan in case a large number of Gazans manage to cross the border, with a capacity to accommodate over 100,000 people. Surrounded by concrete walls and situated away from Egyptian settlements, the site has received deliveries of unassembled tents, the Wall Street Journal is reporting. Egyptian officials, anticipating a broad Israeli offensive against Hamas and Rafah, a Palestinian city on the Egyptian border, believe such an operation could occur within weeks. This is according to reports. Researchers are expressing astonishment at an unusual discovery within a remarkably well-preserved bird's egg that has endured for over 1,700 years, revealing the presence of steel liquid content. The egg was initially unearthed during excavation activities conducted between 2007 and 2016 at the Berryfield site in Buckinghamshire, southeast England. 
This archaeological venture revealed a substantial waterlogged pit or well dating back to the Roman period in Britain, which was between the years of 270 and 300 AD. Now within the pit, archaeologists uncovered a trove of artifacts, including pottery vessels, coins, leather shoes, animal bones, and a woven basket containing a collection of eggs. Among these, one egg has captivated researchers due to the unexpected preservation of its liquid contents. Quote, of particular interest were the eggs, which were a rare and exciting find. Despite the incredibly fragile nature of the eggs, the team on the site were able to retrieve one intact. A blog post from Buckinghamshire Council's Heritage and Archaeology team reads, Newsweek is reporting. The dating of the pit where the egg was discovered indicates an age of at least 1,700 years ago.